So I wanted to come on and talk to you all about something a little bit different today. So I did an interview a few weeks ago at this point with Lynn from Nourish Your Crowns. And so make sure if you have not watched that interview that you go and watch that video. But in the interview, I talked about how one of the reasons why I was having such significant health problems was because I had an infected root canal. And so I kind of wanted to come on and talk to you all about it and to raise more awareness about it because I don't think it's something that we talk about enough. So let's get to it. All right, so first I wanna show you all my cute little partial that I have now before I get into, <laughs> into my story. But anyway, so I started having health problems in May of 2020. And so I went through several different doctors, Western doctors, and then I went through several different holistic pra uh, practitioners to figure out what exactly was going on with me. So I'm gonna fast forward to um, probably the middle of 2022. So pretty much kind of out of nowhere, I started gaining a ton of weight was doing nothing different, was still exercising, still had a really healthy regimen, taking a bunch of supplements. By that time, I had worked with a lot of practitioners, but literally it felt like my body was turning against me. And so I worked with a practitioner, my fourth practitioner at the time, and she found that I had high levels of mold in my body, that I had high levels of heavy metals, and then a few months later, I would find out that I had an infected root canal. And so that was probably in November of 2022. And so I went for my regular cleaning and that was the appointment where I had to do my panoramic scan. And so prior to that, I didn't even really think too much about x-rays and when you get them because I just really wasn't into dental health and it's just something that I've always done. That every six months I know I get my cleanings. I know at some visits they do x-rays and some they don't. And so the doctor was like, no, the dental hygienist said, you know, well, this is your, it's time to get your, um, your panoramic scan. We do these every five years. And so I'm like, okay, you know, that's fine. And so she does a panoramic scan and she looks at it and she's like, whoa, you, you have a really big infection. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, you have a really big infection. And then the doctor came and, uh, and he confirmed, he was like, yes, this is a huge infection. And so the interesting thing about it was the area that was infected was where I had my root canal. So going back to that, when um, I've had quite a few issues with my teeth over the years. And it's really just simply because I didn't take very good care of them. I loved sugar, uh, specifically York peppermint patties. That was my absolute favorite. And then Ben and Jerry's. And so literally, you know, just kind of throughout, especially college time, I just binged on these things. And I loved, loved to snack at night. And so of course, as you know, you know, if you're if you're eating these sugary things and you're not going and brushing your teeth immediately after, that sugar is just sitting on those teeth and it's literally causing decay. And so teeth were, were decayed. And uh, with my first root canal, I probably got that. And see, I don't even really remember the timelines on it. So it's kind of just where I think. But I think I got my first root canal in 2007 when I was transitioning from high school to college. And so I remember I, um, they had told me, I'd gone to an appointment and they had told me that I needed to have a filling done because that tooth was, uh, was just in need of a filling. It was, had a lot of decay to it. So I went in, I got a filling done and you know, went about my merry way. And then I remember I went through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru and I got a, a, a breakfast sandwich and uh, I was eating it in the car and literally I bit down on the side that I had my uh, my filling and it's like pain just literally shot through my body. And I was like, oh my God, like something, something is not right. And so I remember at that time I was working at a doctor's office. So I went to the doctor, went to work, went to the doctor's office and I immediately called the dentist and I was like, something is not right. Like I just took a bite and it literally, I felt it through my soul. So. 
Even though that chicken sandwich was so good, that chicken biscuit was so good, I had to put it to the side because I was scared to eat at that point. And so they said, well, you need to come back right now. And so I ended up going back to the dentist and they did some x-rays and they were like, oh, this tooth needs a root canal. And I was like, what, a root canal? I'm like, I just got a, I just got a feeling and I just paid you all like all this money. It was like, it probably was like $200 or something for, for a filling. So I'm like, I paid you all for this, this filling. You all told me I needed this, but now you're telling me that I need a root canal. And so, you know, they went into, you know, you just really don't know at the time. Like we didn't know that it was this bad and blah, 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 blah. And so I was just like, I was, I just remember being so frustrated about it because I just felt like it was an avoidable situation. But anyway, but now looking back at it, I'm like, it really probably wasn't. And so they did mention at the end of the appointment, they were like, you know, you have the option to get the root canal or you can get your tooth removed. You can just get your tooth pulled. And so, of course, when you're speaking finances, you know, it it is the most cost economical to get your tooth pulled because I believe it was like $50 to get the tooth pulled and it was like $1,200 at the time for a root canal without insurance. And so um, without my, that was just like the total and then that just total in general. So that wasn't my portion just with the insurance. And so I remember later I got on the phone with my best friend at the time and I was like, girl, I just got the price of what a root canal is gonna be on what getting my tooth pulled is gonna be. And I was like, I am really about to get this tooth pulled. Like, and so I kind of made up my mind, I was like, I'm just gonna get the tooth pulled because I don't feel like paying all this money to uh, to get a root canal. And then after I talked to her, I talked to my mom and my mom was like, you know, well, you should do everything you can to save your teeth. And then now that I think about it, like, I mean, it did make sense. Like, even though it was a back tooth because it was this, it was uh, this tooth in the back, the left, the left back, um, I did want to save my, my tooth. Like I didn't want, even though it was in the back, it's like, I agree, like you should save your, your teeth if you can. So I went and got the root canal, no no issues, um, no issues. It was really a seamless, it was really a seamless um, procedure. And so then later on, kind of over the years, I started having um, a few more issues with, with two other teeth that I ended up just getting a root canal because that one, the initial one that I, that I did went really well. So it just made sense to, uh, to keep getting, to just get the, get the other two root canal. And so, so to fast forward back, that tooth, the initial tooth that I got the root canal on ended up developing a huge infection. And so, when he told me that, literally it was like a light bulb clicked in my head and I just was like, I bet you this is one of the reasons why I'm having, another reason why I'm having so many issue, health issues. Because of course, you know, I knew that I had mold in my body, I knew that I had heavy metals in my body, but I still felt like something else was wrong because even though this practitioner was the best practitioner I worked with, she had put me on Cellcore products, which were the best supplements that I had ever been on, and I had seen an improvement in my health, I still just didn't feel 100%. Like I still felt like there was something still going on. So when I got this information that I had an infected root canal, I was like, this has got to be the missing link for me. And so I went, uh, immediately and like emailed her and I was just like this is what's going on and she was like that does make sense and so she referred me to Dr. Kelly Blodgett on Instagram and he is a holistic dentist and y'all when I went on his Instagram and I read everything about root canals I was like oh my god but I'm not an expert on root canals and just kind of and and I'm not a dentist so I don't really know the full process the full I can't really explain it to you in the way that Dr. Blodgett will or can but um, basically what I want you to get from this is that a hundred percent of root canals end up going bad they, I mean, it's just a harbor for bacteria, viruses, I mean, just a lot of bad stuff. And I think if you really think about it, when you get a root canal, you have a dead organ in your body. So it's like, why would something dead not cause problems? Why would something dead not cause problems with your health? And so once I kind of really got into it and went through his social media and went on his website, I was like, I've got to get these root canal teeth out of my mouth like ASAP. 
And so I ended up finding a holistic dentist in Arkansas. And so he was probably, he's probably about an hour and a half away from where I live in Little Rock. He's in Amity, Arkansas. And so he reviewed my case and he was like, yeah, he compete like everything that I told him that I found with Dr. Blodgett, he was like, yes, root, ca root canals, 100%, they go bad. And so I feel like I had just had like an all or nothing personality. So I'm just like, initially I was actually gonna fly to where Dr. Blodgett was and have him do the procedure. And I was gonna get, cause I have three root canals, I was gonna get all three root canals done. And then he has like all these like super advanced procedures. Like he's got red light therapy, he's got IV therapy, he's got all these different things. So I was going to fly out there, I was gonna get all these things done and just go crazy with it. But then my boyfriend was like, you should try to find somebody that's closer uh, because I was literally gonna have to get on a flight, um, you know, be there for probably four or five days. Um, it is out of pocket. Uh, well, at the time it was expected that I wasn't sure if my dentist was gonna be able to pay for it. So the procedure was about $7,000. And that was not gonna be the final cost because you know they recommend that you get crowns, not crowns, that you get um, an implant or something to fill in where, where your um, tooth is gonna be removed. And so my total, they told me, was probably gonna be about $15,000. But at the time, I was willing to pay whatever because I just was like, I just want this out my mouth. Like, I just have to heal and I know that this is what's going on. And so he was like, yeah, you should probably find somebody that's closer. So I did, so that's where I found the dentist in Amity. And he removed, um, he, he removed one tooth at a time. And so I had my first tooth removed February, 2023. I think I got my second tooth around March, 2023, maybe beginning of April. And then I got my last uh, tooth removed in June of 2023. And y'all, when I say that I just saw such a significant improvement in my health after getting those teeth removed, it's literally insane. I mean, it's literally insane. And so I have to, I just feel so obligated to spread awareness around this because again, I think it's something that people just don't know about. And even at the time, so since, um, so the main thing that was affected was my skin so with my health problems that I've experienced since 2020, uh, 20, May of 2020. And so I was seeing an esthetician. I was actually driving all the way to Dallas to see an esthetician because she does things that people here in Arkansas don't do right now anyway. And so when I was initially going to her, I had like really bad cystic acne, face very inflamed. Like, I mean, it was, it was really pretty bad. And so I went to her after I got my first root canal uh, removed. And I mean, y'all, she was so shocked at my skin and just, I mean, just a significant improvement. And I was like, listen, for you, you have to tell people about this. You have to tell people that they have to investigate their root canals because that really could be the issue behind their health, behind their health problems. And so I went and then I ended up going back and she was like, I told some, I've been telling people, everybody about, you know, the root canal. And there's been a couple of people that have said, you know, they think that that's their issue and they're going to get it uh, investigated. And y'all, I almost started crying when she said that because if I can just help one person with this, I will feel like I did not go through this in vain. And so please, if you have a root canal, please get it checked out. And then also uh, something that's worth investigating as well is if you have mercury fillings, um, because that can also lead to health issues and toxicity within the body with the mercury fillings. So that's something that's worth investigating as well. And so you do have a few, so I went with the partial option. Okay, because I got this back one removed. Um, I had a root canal there. And then I had a root canal on this back tooth on the right side. And then I'm just think, I'm like hesitating because I'm like, this is somewhat embarrassing, but hey, you know, here we are. I've got it, I've got, this is where we are. And then this is where my other root canal tooth is. So the right, this is tooth, the second from the back. 
So obviously with the with the back two, it's not as much of an issue. Like I don't, I'm not really concerned about me opening my mouth and someone saying that I have two, you know, that I have a tooth missing all the way in the back. And it really hasn't per, um, really been an issue too much with eating. So I'm not gonna get anything back there. I'm not gonna get a partial. I'm not gonna get a. Um, I'm not gonna get a implant back there. But since this tooth is pretty significant, like you can tell when I smile um, that it's missing. That's why I decided to get something right there. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm a millionaire, and millionaires don't go around with missing teeth. So that's the other. Because I've actually been able to adjust pretty well with eating without it. But, uh, but like I said, I'm like, millionaires don't go around with missing teeth, so I gotta get something. And so you'll have a few options when it comes to replacing that tooth. Um, and I know, and, and Dr. Blodgett, I really recommend that you all go look on his website because he probably has even more innovative things. But what my options were, were implant, a partial, or to just leave it. Don't put anything there. Now, of course, you're, you are gonna have some shifts, some movement, because it's just a gap there. So they do recommend putting something there. But y'all, you know, you have to do what you feel like is best for you. So I decided to get a partial versus an implant because I just did not want any metal in my body. And that was just because of the issues that I had had with heavy metals um, and just kind of where I was in my health journey. And even though, you know, I was going to a biological dentist and it was gonna be like the most advanced, the best implant, um, you know, not having toxic things in it. It just still didn't feel right to me. And even when he was explaining to me about the implant, he was like, you know, there is a chance that your body could reject it. There are, there is a small percentage of people whose body it does reject. And I just was like, that's cause it's not meant to be there. And for me, now that's for me, because I know a lot of people that have implants and they don't have any issues. So, but that's just when they were telling me about it, what stuck out to me. And so I'm just telling you that if you're in this situation where, you know, you have root canals that need to be removed, you end up getting them removed and they give you these options, you just do what you feel like works best for you. So I went with the partial and the partial is probably like <laughs> the most annoying because I can't eat with it. Um, I do have to pop it in and pop it out. Um, and you feel like an 80 year old. Like I feel like, I feel like a senior citizen. No, no, no offense to a senior citizens or anyone with, with fake teeth, but I just think about my grandmother and how she would take out her dentures at night and put them on the, uh, and put them in the Epsom salt, uh, water. Not the Epsom salt, uh, the Epidit, you know, when you have, uh, dentures and you put, and you've got to get your water and then you put your Epidit in there and then you put your, your teeth in there. So that kind of cleans it. But that's what I feel like. And maybe that's just based on my experience. But again, I feel like it's the best option for me right now. And who knows, later I may change my mind and be like, you know, I want to get an implant. Who knows, technology may improve and it may not be metal. It may be able to be something different but you just have to do what works best for you. And the point of this video is just to spread awareness about it because your dental health is really important. And not just in the sense of if you do have the mercury fillings, if you do have the root canals, but also just even in the sense of getting regular cleanings. Because I wouldn't have even known about this had I not been going regularly to my dentist and getting these x-rays and getting these exams and you know, like I said in the beginning, they only do panoramic x-rays every five years. So only God knows how long this infection was in my body. But I'm assuming it had been there for a couple years since uh, people were just so amazed. Even when I went to the doctor in Amity, he was just like, that's a huge infection. <laughs> So my guess was that it had been it had been there for for probably probably two to three years, maybe longer, depending because uh, I started having my health issues in 2020. So I'm assuming like it took a while for my body to get to the point where it just started going crazy. Um, but you know, I'm sure that it's, if you request, you could probably get the panoramic scans a little bit earlier. It's probably just at the end of the day like an insurance thing. But my point is. When you keep up with your dental health, 
then it's easier to spot these things whereas if you're not being consistent with that. So make sure you stay on top of your dental health. Just make, make sure you just stay on top of your health in general. You know, like I tell my clients, I think a lot of us have just gotten out of touch with listening to our bodies um, because we're just so busy, we're just so on the go, you know, we're just like, you know, this is just something that happens when I get older and so I'm not gonna worry about it. But really that's not always the case. A lot of times our body is really trying to communicate that something is awry, that something is going on, that it needs help. And um, and so we also oftentimes don't listen until it's too late. So don't be that person. I, and that's why I wanna raise awareness about this because I don't ever want anyone to get to the point where I got with my health. And so um, make sure that you share this video with, with anyone that you know that has dental issues, that may have a root canal. Um, and then like I said, make sure that you go and follow Dr. Kelly Blodgett on Instagram because he is really changing, um, he's really changing the, the dental health world out there. So, okay, well, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.